Welcome everyone to Data Science for Kids. So in the last couple um, weeks, I've had people question about maybe we should get started with things for kids and getting un kids understanding coding and being able to teach them about data science. So this is going to be kind of a prototype series in that aspect. So what we will do is we're going to actually be using P5JS for the kids. Uh, this is going to be kind of focused on children that are somewhere between 8 to 80 maybe, let's say. Okay, and just getting started with teaching them how to code, as well as get uh, getting used to maybe the fundamentals of programming itself. So I'm going to go on, and I am currently at, oh, I don't want Chinese right now. Um, but anyways, let's go to here, oh, here, here, here. Uh, let me view... Here, so we can see I'm at uh, editor.p5js.org. Now, this is where you will get the p5js web editor, which we are using here. Um, because it is so kind of user friendly, this is what I plan on using for uh, most of this course. We may later on move on to using um, VS Code or something else, but the fastest way that we can kind of get started using p5js, which is a JavaScript library, by the way, is just going to p5js.com uh, or .org, sorry and using that. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I use the US style keyboard. All right, so let's go on and get kind of started with this. I'm not gonna go into a uh, great detail about what P5JS is or anything like that. We're just gonna go and get our hands dirty as we always do with code. So first off, let's draw an ellipse. So first off, let's actually even show you what this particular uh, code does okay so p5js sketches all right have two things that they always need one is they need this setup function okay and then they need a draw function the setup function is to kind of set up everything that you need here now what happens with this background and this type of stuff actually i'm going to move the background up here um this stuff is basically set up and this runs once Okay, and it kind of sets everything up. So like if we maybe want some uh, static data or that type of stuff, we'll definitely probably do it in the setup. Uh, when we're drawing something, we want it to kind of constantly loop through. We will do that draw in the draw function, okay? So let's go on and actually create up just a basic circle here. Now again, notice here that this is um, a nice big 400 by 400 canvas. Okay, we can actually mute that for now and notice here that it'll kind of make up this 100 by 100 um, cell. Now we can go on and draw a circle in here and do something like ellipse uh, and we'll do something like uh, 50 by 50, 80 by 80. Okay and this 50 by 50 is telling us the center of that circle so it's going to be at 50 and 50 uh, so x and y and then it's going to be talking about the diameter um, uh, for each direction. So for example, if I change this to something like 50 here, notice here that it shrinks everything down. So this width here is 50, but this width here is 80. So you want a circle, it would be, oh, not 800, 80. There we go. Okay. And again, we're just, right now, we're just going through and doing the very bare bones basics. Okay for today. I want you guys just to see that what we can do with P5JS and just to kind of play with it. So I expect you guys to kind of code along with me and have fun uh, with as much as you can. And we'll discuss each types of things that we're going to be doing um, more in detail in later videos in the series. Okay, so next up, let's actually go on and create up a, a nice larger canvas. And what we'll do is we want to have this so that this ball or let's the circle will follow us around on the screen leaving a trail of circles and maybe when we push down like we click the click the mouse okay um, we'll have it change color so maybe we'll have it change to red or to blue or to black or something like that so let's go on and give that a try as well um, and so we'll do something like we'll do this with an if function so if mouse is pressed and this is um, a built-in function from p5js and it basically evaluates to true or false so for example if i do something like um, um, uh, console.log 
mouse is pressed. Okay, and here it actually gives me a, a false. Okay, um, and notice here it doesn't actually do anything, but let me actually move this and I'll put it um, in this in here for now. Okay, and this will basically kind of constantly run. Oh, and that's not run for me. There we go. So notice it's false, 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 false. But if I start clicking here, all right, every once in a while it's true. So if I hold it down to be true, now it's constantly saying true down in the console. Um, you can see that down here. So let me move that up a little bit. And so if I hold down, uh, I'm holding down, you can see I'm pushing down on my mouse right now. It's all coming up to true. And when I take my finger off, it starts going to false. So uh, mouse is pressed would be false right now. Mouse is pressed is true, and it starts coming up as true. Okay, so let's go on. I'm going to clear that. I'm going to get rid of this um, because it's making a mess of things. Now let's make basically an if statement. So if mouse is pressed in here, we want it to fill of 255. Okay, um, and you know what? Let me make it uh, right now. What it'll do is if mouse is pressed. It's going to, and you know what, otherwise, let's do this. Let's go on and do um, else in here, um, else uh, fill with zero, okay? And then after all of this, it'll be ellipse in here, mouse x, mouse y, uh, and we'll make it, um, a little bit smaller, so 50 by 50. Now this mouse X, mouse Y, um, will actually create up um, points. Okay, so I can um, I can even do that here and do something like uh, console dot log mouse X mouse Y, uh, and so here you can see. Um, as I move on the screen, we're drawing something, but I'm also giving you the mouse X and mouse Y coordinates of where my mouse is moving. Now I can also, if I, let me, I can kind of basically color this in, right? Now if I press down, it turns it into these white circles, and then you can actually see what it actually looks like going through. Okay, and again, I'm, uh, I'll go on and let me turn off that console log um, so that we can kind of see what's happening there. Now, again, maybe maybe black isn't your thing, so then maybe we want to um, uh, we want to maybe pick something. So let's maybe do something with a little bit of green, okay? So uh, these fill statements take in an RGBA type scale, okay? So for example here we do something like Again, if it's green, 50, let's say 168 by 82, okay? And so if I click down on it, it turns this to green, okay? And maybe, let's say if I lift up the mouse, instead of it being black, um, we want it to be, let's make it orange, okay? So let's do something like, um, 168 by 127 by 50. Okay, so we just mess with the red scale a little bit. So we have this orange, we click down, it turns green, turns kind of an orange brown color green. Okay, so you can kind of play with it just a little bit again, just to kind of see what it does. And again, maybe later on, we would have it take in this mouse X, mouse Y for our color combinations. And so then as we're moving on the screen, it would turn it into a rainbow or something else. But again, this is this is just kind of getting into the very basics of P5JS and just kind of seeing what we're going to be able to do. And in, in the next video, we'll definitely be going into um, in more in depth, okay? Um, and let me actually put one more thing in here. And this kind of constantly runs, okay? And um, so I'm going to leave this here. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.